Number 10, if f of g of x equals this disgusting mess up here, and f of x equals 2x minus 1 over x plus 1, then what is g of x? So what this is saying is that g of x went into the f function as x and came out here. So if we go into the f function here as x, we're going to go right here and right here. So f of g of x equaling 2 times this, which got plugged in as x, and then over x here, we can easily see that g of x, it must have been 2 times rad x squared plus 1 minus 1 over rad x squared plus 1 plus 1. And so our x value that got inputted in here, the g of x, must be equal to the value that was inputted, the square root of x squared plus 1. So B is the correct answer. Now this can be a little bit confusing, so if you're going over this, I'm gonna do it one more time for you here. We have F of G of X equals all of this good stuff here. So if we have F of the square root of X squared plus one, which they're saying is gonna be G of X, and we put that into the f function 2x minus 1 over x plus 1, this whole value gets inputted for x on the top and bottom of this equation. So this f of the square root of x squared plus 1 is equal to 2 times this value, the square root of x squared plus 1, minus 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1 plus 1. So this must have been our g of x value. Again, b is our answer.